can you yep. make one eye go to the camera and one I can. elsewhere? <laughs> 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 My name is Damon Warner. I'm 24 years old. I ride for Envy and Epic Scooters. I've been riding for about 13 years now, so it's been a while. That's all I really know how to do. My local skate park is Cal Oaks Skate Park in Marietta, California. Some of the homies that I ride with, let's see. Uh, when I'm at home, I ride with Ryan Gould a lot, Steven Garlotta, uh, some of the guys from Menifee, like Capron sometimes, every now and then. Uh, anytime I'm traveling, like Australia, like Max, and anybody who's really around. YouTube, man. YouTube, uh, is, it's a great thing. It's really fun. Uh, one thing about YouTube that a lot of people don't know is the amount of editing that you actually have to do is absolutely insane. Usually it's like four to five hours. A day, and but it's it's a, a lot of fun. I know the kids really enjoyed watching it, and I like to change mine up, put some writing in there, short films. But it's fun. I enjoy it. I could live anywhere in the world. Um, it'd be pretty close between two. One would be Australia. I love Australia and just the vibe. It's it's really close to how America is. Just with everybody's attitudes, are really good. Um, so that's one. The other would probably be Dubai. Dubai is really cool. Uh, everybody there is just, there's all kinds of different nationalities, attitudes there are really good, and, and obviously it's Dubai. Like, what else can you say about that? Um, I used to ride skateboards and, and bikes and, and rollerblades and all that kind of stuff way back in the day, but when scooters actually came out, it was just a lot different. So people looked at it, people looked at it like it was just way out of the ordinary because it was so it was a lot easier to really impress people and get them to you know basically ask questions and just get interested um, for a lot of the guys that are just starting out my main thing is don't get discouraged by things that other people are saying just do the thing that you love to do have fun don't worry so much about getting sponsored or going pro right now just enjoy scootering that's what you should do um, I probably wouldn't consider moving into BMX just because I, I enjoy um, the the friends that I've that I've made and basically just the entire community of scootering as a whole. Um, I, I have a lot of friends that ride BMX and it's not that I wouldn't enjoy riding. I mean, it, it's still an action sport, but just because I've grown and watched the sport of scootering grow uh, just in the time this past 10, 12 years, that's just that's my thing now. It's like my child. So. I'll, I'll be here forever. If I wasn't scootering, uh, my, I would probably, what I would want to be would be like a professional singer. I think that'd be really sick. I'm not going to sing. Don't ask me to. Uh, ever. <laughs> but I enjoy it. It's fun and it would be just a really cool job to have and that would be, uh, that would definitely be the other profession that I would like to go into if possible. Bertha was my first car. So Bertha I got when I was 18 years old. I picked Bertha up off of Craigslist from some guy in Riverside. And she is the love. She's, she, I love the car. Unfortunately, I don't have quite enough time to play with it as much as I would really like to. But hopefully I, I do you know, soon. Soon enough. But it's never going to be soon enough. <laughs> my dream trick would be on the mega ramp and it would be a flip 10 whip. Uh, I feel like, I've, I mean, I've, I've done eight, I've done flip eight, um, but I feel like it'd be really cool to just skip nine and just go straight to 10. Uh, that would be the dream trick for me. Um, but the scariest moment that I've had in air was probably my first actual big air on the mega ramp. Uh, it was pretty scary. It was, I was, uh, the whole time I was just thinking like, Jake Brown, Jake Brown, don't Jake Brown, don't Jake Brown, and lose my shoes, because that's all bad. But, um, yeah, that was by far the scariest moment I've had on my scooter. Oh, come on, my favorite place to eat, we all know that. Young Wings and Things, baby. Go to, go to Marietta, go to the one on Cal Oaks, not the one on Winchester, and get a four strip meal with mild sauce, carrots, breadsticks, and a drink. You won't be sorry. I better get a sponsorship from that. <laughs> Before I scootered, I did actually play a couple of team sports. I did uh, baseball for eight years, actually. I played just on Little League, which is like 
basically a, a smaller kids league over in America and uh, but it was fun. The only thing I just didn't really like about it was the fact that um, I had to listen to somebody else tell me what to do. They they get to they got to tell me where to where to go play and all that kind of crap. I didn't like that. I like do my own thing. So that's why I don't play. That's why I ride my scooter now. If I have one superpower, I would be flying around the world. Let me tell you, I wouldn't need I wouldn't need an airplane. Don't need any baggage because I'd be flying fast and just A to B, baby. Just fly around. And I would, if we don't even need to go fast on your scoot if you need to boost something. You can just blast it. There's no problem. That would be the thing. Heck yeah. I'm in. Thank you guys very much for watching the interview. I appreciate every single one of you guys that follow me on Instagram. Obviously all my fans out there. Everybody that's been watching the videos on YouTube. I appreciate you guys. And shout out to Scooter Hut for letting me come around and do this question and answers uh, clip for you guys. And keep watching. Keep following Scooter Hut. Follow Envy. Follow Epic. And I'm out. You've been trying to act like you don't talk, but the truth is.